Good. Maybe I could still make a hepsic tahara. You know, maybe, you know, I was bleeding before in the afternoon. But the heaven, if she makes it, she has no choice. We make it. We try not to look for homeless. What's the ideal way to do it in such a case? They should do it before she lights candles. So let's say it's in the summer. She, you know, the, 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 I don't know, Chabad doesn't make good Shabbat. Do see some many Chabad people coming. Yeah, I'm not sure a lot of Chabad people come in. So if they know that she was the Kabbal Shabbat early, she should make, try to make the Hefzik Tahara before that. Aben asked, she tried, and didn't go. She figured out after candle lighting, she tried to get it, it did work, it came out clean. So then we passed her, and then it's okay. So Friday will be the Hefzik Tahara good. And remember the rule. 
the Friday is the Afsek Tahara, then a week later, Friday night, she goes to the mikvah. Very important, people get confused. So Friday afternoon, we made a half sick, that means she made a kubdika, that made sure it came out, it was uh, clean, to remember that Friday night will be the mikvah night. Now Friday night, I, you know, you know, if a person, I want to tell you a very, a very important halakha. A couple called me up, and, uh, I forgot, I'm going to go a little bit more the details. Just to run into this, just happened about two weeks ago. I think it was Shaver Grove, there's something, so the wife didn't want to go to the mikvah. I explained to the wife, I understand, you have to have the makeup put up, it's your sister's Shaver Grove's, but afterwards, go to the mikvah, because if you're not the kind, mitzvah, peri, of the if you don't have a boy and a girl yet, you have to do everything in the world to make sure she becomes pregnant. You know what I mean? So we made it just because it's uncomfortable, so you go afterwards, work it out. Now a neighbor, if you call work it out, and even if people come, and she gives you the key. So I just want to explain. As long as you're not the kind of mitzvah that you read, normally couples have a right, the man can tell his wife, I'm going to you, you don't have to go to the mikvah. You know, let me explain something. Marriage makes an obligation to, of intimacy. A man has to be intimate with his wife, and the wife has to be intimate with the man. That was part of the rice. You know, people don't realize that. That men are you know, the Torah is so great. As a rabbi, <coughs> you know, I don't do counseling, but from the showers that I get, very often, you know, people get into trouble. One of them is not in the mood. <coughs> Two of them not in the mood, they get in trouble. But if you know this mitzvah, you have to do it. It's very interesting. If once it's a mitzvah, you have to do it, you do it. And Yiddish is saying, with an S and Kim Dachit, start eating and get an appetite. Sometimes you're not in the mood, but since you got to do it, you got to do it. So, Mamela, that's the Torah made in a mitzvah. You know, it's a lot. People don't realize that. If you hold back intimacy from your wife, if not just not because you're not feeling well, because sort of you are you know, angry at her, you're over a laugh in the Torah. You hear? It's a laugh. It's not a, you know, just so if you're angry, you just got to put your anger away. You have to learn that show because we annoy each other. I always say, I'm annoyed at myself. So I could be annoyed at her, but she could be annoyed at me. I don't know why people get annoyed and they think the world ends. No, not the world doesn't end if you get annoyed with each other. You just wake up. The kids said there's a laugh in the toilet. I just want to reiterate. Just <coughs> both ways. What are you saying? Both ways are just enough. For the man is a lab, and the woman, she's called a Meredis, which is a very sharp Sugyam uh, Sekhus uh, I say Meredis in English, it means, it means more than the That's only a Meredis Bila, right? You have to speak up. That's only a Meredis Bila, right? No, but no, no, it's not true. No, it's... Which, for the man or for the lady? The for the lady, yeah. For the lady. The the woman wants to get into it a given night, and he's not interested. Is he over the lab? He's over the lab. Uh, 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 if he was the night before intimate, and the next night she wants again, he's not obligated. Yes, you, you need Kirk to do it. But he hold, there's a whole lot of it. Uh, business people twice a week or three times a week, there's a lot of it. Okay. If he deliberately does not want to fulfill his obligations, there's a lot in the table. Whatever the obligation is, so, you know, the, the, the Shabbat has a whole other thing. It's, it's twice a week, let's say it's twice or three times a week. He decides, I don't want to do it, it's a Shabbos. And she's a, you know, she's, you know, woman, 99% of the women are demanded. That's one of the curse how we got, that women are shy to demand it. But if you're holding it back because I'm annoyed at her, and that's you holding back, you're over a lot in the table. It's really frightening. I want, and let, me just, let me just add how, how terrible this love is. There's a frightening about the Sakhis Ksubis. Mother says that, uh, I forgot the names, but one of the Moira went to learn Yeshiva and he would normally come home every you yeah. And he for, a, uh, Once a year. Once a year, <laughs> imagine. And he forgot himself, he, for, he, for, he learned it and didn't One come year. home. And his wife started crying. For that tears, he died. So the Mashu says 
that it's not just the tears that she shed that he didn't come home. She missed, she, he, to hold back the obligation of the mitzvah stayna. That was so, uh, such a love that he, Rahmanu Islam, he was such a holy person that when he came once home, once a family, and she gave permission to that. And he was learning, and he, and he forgot himself. For that, the mother says, Rahmanu Islam, he died. So, you know, it's a very humble exact, you know. See, what I, I'm not so young, so I could talk. So, you know what it is? The title says you should do it, so you make peace with your wife, even though you're not in the mood. You know, especially when you're young, you get quickly uh, hurt with the feelings. The title says to do it, you forget it, so push away your feelings, and just uh, get into the mood. What do you want to ask? The, the mitzvah, that's the right side, is only on the left. Allah, it's a lot. The is the man. The is the man. There's only a lot. It's 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 a Tension, you say, sometimes one month's long. I just had a case where uh, she wanted, and he didn't want it. <coughs> you know, uh, she wants that other child, he says, I, I, I'm overwhelmed. You know, they, 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 but uh, that's, you have to ask her all, you have to, I don't want the details now because it's so different. Yes. But in general, yes. in regards to Shabbos, so the Kali said, John, it's Friday night, when we was to make the night, if you live too far, and it's time you don't go, right? Careful choice. Right, now here's the question. What if you have a make farther away, which is, it's a more hummer to connect to, which you normally go to, and one, it's more, the walking distance is not on the same level that you postpone until after John. No, no, just postpone. Even the Marshall Light and the Bible, should we, you say there has to be, no, 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 God, I've never said have to. It doesn't say have to. This, I, 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 I think it's down, but you have to say it. No, I want to speak, explain this. This no, is a mistake in Chabad. I spoke to the Chabad before and about this. A lot of Chabad people ask me this question. And as many years I was just a man. You know, the, 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 let, let me explain this to kids so you should understand it, so you understand the background. A mikveh has to be rainwater. So now, you know, we are Baruch Hashem, our big mikveh can. You can't just tell you about rainwater. So, there's aloha that you make a shaka. You know what a shaka means? You have rainwater here, and you have city water on this side. If you ever go to a mikvah, even a men's mikvah works that way. There's a wall, and there's a hole in the wall. This side is the rainwater that came in. This side is the city water. And they touch in the middle, and the aloha is, this is a kosher mikvah. Now, there is one opinion in the Rishonim that holds if you change it enough times, we're worried that the rainwater disappeared and the old water got in there. The original rainwater is not there. That's only one opinion. Not because the other opinion holds, but that who cares? Not bottle. Even it disappeared. So what? The, the most is shining hold. Let me explain what most is shining hold. The older is shining better. That means if I have rainwater on this side, city water on this side, once it kisses, I could take out the whole rainwater and this will be good. And then not only this is good, so I can put new rainwater here, this is this side, and it's good. That means once this city water kissed this water, this side, it became kosher just as that. One body of water. Basically. One body of water. Well said. That's what this shot. There is one shit. Now, if you learn Hilchas Mikvah, the outer ever made a mikvah, you would chalish that no one would do such a mikvah. Al Trebbe made a tikkun mikvah. So it gets a little bit complicated, but the Al Trebbe was not kosher about this. But what happened is, as generation, as I think about shops times, the, the, the industrial was more easy, it was most easy to make. They tried to be machmed that she won. So they tried to be machmed. That means there's a famous story, the Sounds of Roof, what the Chesidim started to be machmed. So the Sounds of Roof, you heard of this, the Rebbe of Sounds, it was one of the great Rebbe's. So he wrote a letter to the Shimon Seifer. Shimon Seifer was the son of the Chesam Seifer was also one of the greatest giants we have in the last few generations. And he wanted to have this homeless, so he signs his letter, Shimon Ben Rivka. Normally you write Ben, uh, his father was all tried to tell her, my mother never went to such a mikra. I was born not to such a mikra. My father was not Margaret. You know, not just the entire cloud he was not Margaret. 
So the question is, once we're able to afford to be market, there was a, a, this, a, a, this, uh, two opinions, how to make sure which was a better way, one on top of the other. The Mashat had one on top of the other, who will, 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 will keep with the heat with it. The other said one aside another. And the truth is, in Israel, a Chabad scientist in, in Barman University, about 15 years ago, did a study, both don't work. <laughs> <laughs> he was convinced, he started the, the experiment, he convinced the Mashab was right, and he was very honest, intellectual honest, and he shows that after seven times, it changed anyway, that it all changes. And it happens to be a Moshe Feinstein, and his famous Jewess, doesn't say that not scientific, says he has a Gemara from the Moch, the Malochas, says there's no way he could stop it. But it happens to be our Mikra has both Chumas in our world. We have both, we have both. We have, we have both. One. We have one and one. But the point is, but this is a chumra sheba chumra. It means that, that there's Tanya himself's wife did not, the Alter Rebbe's wife didn't use the He used the mikvah. Someone will make the Alter Rebbe's mikvah there and say he's not serving you. It was serving for such kudos. Because it was freezing cold. So you had a whole interesting way how to make it. Baruch Hashem, we live. We, are, we don't know how lucky we are. So, so just to clarify. So to clarify, it's a chumra, this it's a, a you and going on time, you make with a chumra. Right. If a right. lady, if we ask in Luchim's question, so if a lady is, is not next to the Chabad Mikvah, there's no question she has to go to the non Chabad Mikvah, make it out of Kushik, has to show them. I don't know what Mikvah is talking about, but there's a Mikvah here in the neighborhood. I'm speaking not from knowledge, but I don't know if it has a Hatch of Chal of a Rav around here. So therefore, I just, I don't know what mikvah he's talking about. I can say for that in this neighborhood, the closest kosher ladies mikvah that Yidin, all Yidin uses on reefs. There's no yet kosher mikvah closer. It takes it a first. the one Reefs, yes. And it's it takes around. a Yid that lives east of La Cienega. It takes 45 minutes to walk there and then to walk back. So that's the issue. The, the other mikvahs, from not knowledge, you cannot assume a mikvah is not kosher for Rav does and there's no hatch on it. I'm just saying, as long as they ain't got parked on much, they don't have such a big deal. I'm going to go back to the news already, how we said about Erev Shabbos when it's late. Just everyone, I'm assuming, we know about the concept of a mukh even though you didn't speak about it yet. So you said to make a hefsik tana before live bench. If you live in London and the, the shkia, the, 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 the race is 11.30, what, when does a woman come to the mukh I'll, I'll get to it in a minute. Okay. If, if you said you said the, the main thing is that have rainwater. So if you have an outdoor pool, could that qualify for a woman's makeup? Yeah, the only problem mm -hmm. is that it has to make sure that it doesn't seep, doesn't mm -hmm. cracks. No, no, no. You need to have a rabbi that yeah, sees to make sure it's kosher. It's, it's a bad line. Don't, don't, don't. The only other thing is if a person is stuck. And I, I was debating before driving here if I should talk about this, but I will. God, people do silly things. So I have more than once. I had a phone call once from Hawaii from a young couple. I'm here in Hawaii, there is no mikvah, and what do I do? Wow. Uh, I got a phone call from Costa Rica. Well, uh, there's no why that strange situation? You know, uh, why, I asked the lady, I know she says, I don't know who you are, tell her. Why did you wait to get to go there? Why did you speak to the rabbi before you went how to do it? Well, it's not her husband booked a trip four months beforehand. You know, yeah, that's true, that's what happened. It happens all the time. But it, it, to go on an ocean is the uh, biggest dochech. What there is no to me yeah. means uh, desperation. That means I had uh, I had someone who was who, who, who was stuck in in my show. was stuck up north. I forget you know visiting a man. His wife had a and says, "Why don't you go on? Do you want to go to the ocean?" He says, "Get on the internet and check where there's a chabad mikvah." Found out 45 minutes away there was a chabad mikvah from where he was staying up north. You have to, using the ocean is literally the last, last. I want to tell you, you have the have one, one, one. <laughs> if you map how to do it is the only way you have to do it. First of all, the bid's a big problem. You have to go to a deserted beach. Okay, a woman cannot be in Hawaii. They have that. Yeah, yes, one. and uh, I had a guy who went to Hawaii, and I asked, he has his own business, and he tells me, he, you know, I asked him, you know, you're stuck in Hawaii. He says, I, you know, well, how much you, why can't you, Rabbi, listen, I took out a house $3,000 a day. So he has to have money for that, $3,000 a day. So I told him you couldn't change your, 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 your ticket, so $3,000, you know, there goes the you know, maybe. Uh, I want you know, to just that's I, mean, I, want to, I want to finish this. So if you do get stuck, 
and you do, it's a, the, it, there's a many halachas. First, the first, the first thing, yeah, it, she has to be something very loose. Very, very, very loose. Get a, like a, a house coat, which is very not tight. And she, she can go in with, 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 without a, 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 a uh, crux is the best going into the ocean. Because you, otherwise, uh, what's in it gets between Sand. the toes. Sand gets in the toes. And then once you're inside the ocean, you get out of the tracks. And you try to go there. And then you, the husband has to make sure he goes underneath. One time, I had a couple of okay, also... How can you? He could. He could. Says, she's since right, right now she's going into the mikvah, and I'm not afraid that just by looking at her you might do something. She's right there. Even if that's what the Gemara It's based on the Gemara. So, and, uh, so the kids, and the problem is it's dark. That's and the biggest it's problem. And scary and it's dark. So the, it, it's the only thing you can do is you use, so I tell couples, if you don't want to wait till the month, next day, you get a powerful flashlight, you know, this really powerful, you make sure. So if it's at night, I tell them to first go underneath the net. You put a net on over your hair, so you know the first feet that you went down, the hair didn't uh, go, and then you take off the net, and then you go again, and then you just chop a flashlight to make sure. Um, and most young people are not afraid to go to the ocean. I once had a lady who was afraid to go to the ocean. So her husband went, and she hired, she hired a female I've got to go with her. Yeah, the end of the story. But, but, uh, I want to say that for my daughter, that the only Chabad place in the world where the Rebbe allowed for, for a Chabad couple to live without a minimum in Hawaii, because the Rav there is one of the greatest Talmud Chabad that we have in our community. And for sure, because of that, there's so many dinner you have to know. That's why I understood that some person should not go to the beach. You have to be very careful. But if you're if you're on a boat, she can jump over the side. If you're not, there's no that's what he does. That's what he does. There's a whole thing. Anyways, they have to know a lot of dinner, and the people are afraid. You avoid Adam's dessert. You do it the next day, and then you no, 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 never at day. No, 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 no. Well, well, but if there's no choice to do at night, I'm saying, and you don't worry about seeing it. That you have to do by day, and but you cannot touch it till it gets night. Cannot eat Rabbi 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 Tower Rabbi Rabbi I had this. Did not allow the husband to look at his wife until the night. Yes. Not to touch her. They should not be in the same room until the night. That kind of guy. Sure ah. it, it's not so simple. The kids said, don't go to the ocean. That's right, Tabor. You have to be very learned. If not, people do it wrong. I don't know. Okay. Oh, it sounds great. There's no sense. It's not great. It's not nothing. It's great. It's a great thing to make for It's a great thing to That's it. I always have reason. It's great. Let me tell you. I think Chabad will make for their way. Thanks for your talk. Well, I'm going back up. You mentioned something that, that on, on the night of the, you said that, that there's a mitzvah per vu, but if you already have, have the Mikhail the mitzvah per vu, then the that night is a mitzvah. Let me explain. Then there's another Gemara. The Gemara says, there's an expression in Gemara that says, the boike is there is a You plant in the morning the seeds, but at night, al tamachiyaku don't stop. The Gemara says, a person is a mitzvah to have as many children as they can. That is a very, you have to speak to the rabbi, you know, certain people, the, the, the Rebbe Rebbe, and this, I saw from his writing, I was told in his speeches, he was fired, that everyone should have a house full of children. But, you know, that's not for everyone. You have to, for, you know, mm -hmm. the lady cannot, you know, well, people who cannot handle it emotionally. You know, you have to be someone in, in the money is not the problem, but emotionally. Yeah, they couldn't handle it. So that, you know, but there's a mitzvah. Every child you have is a, a, a great mitzvah. Let me tell you an interesting story. This was a famous Leviah in a, in a so There was a terrible accident. The car was traveling from Shlein to Bnei Barak. The lost control, and the car turned over, and the whole family perished. Yeah. But what's happened about you know, happened many years ago, and that one two-year-old was walking, and how did you know that the car went over? It was a two-year walk in the side of the road. She's the only one who survived, the two-year-old. So the Avozna was masked. That means a mother and a father, and two children, or three children, three yeah, children. Mother, right. father, three children, perished in the car accident. So the Avozna, uh, you heard of uh, the famous place in Bnei he was masked. He said, I want to tell you something. I don't know what goes up in the Shemai. I don't know any of what goes on, but let me tell you something frightening. This lady came to me after three children and asked me, can I have another child? And the question was because she wasn't healthy. She really wanted to have another child. And it was a debate, yes or no? 
And uh, first time I said, no, you know, you can't play with your health, you have a health problem. At the end, we, heard, we listened to other doctors, and I was masking the child, child. You know, the child survived this two years old. I don't know what happened here. You know what I mean? This is, you know, not safe. You, know, you never know the child that you thought, uh, you know, you had enough, and then the child is born. That could be the good love dog. That could be your greatest gift to not, a, a person has to be practical, you know, children are stressful, you know, they, they have to be practical, but anyone has, I, I always just told someone, you know, children from large families to adapt to society much better if they have the attention of the parents, because they're not selfish. You know, I always tell young couples, the less selfish you are, the better you're shown biases. The more you think about yourself, the less you're shown biases. You know, it's a fact. You know how to think about someone, you know how to give to someone. Children grow up in large families are just trained to take care of the others. That's how it is. They think about each other. Well, I have Hashem, I have 10 children, and how it goes. You know, they think about each other. And that, uh, you know, that's how it makes it uh, healthy. Anyways, now coming back. Yes. You make a half and then you, and then you can't go to it for whatever reason. The next night. Do you have to make a half second again? No, you don't have to. So once you're, you're, you're made you're have sick, the harder. The next week. The next week, you can put on the club. Let's say you can't go this Friday night, like so you stuck someplace. Then you just go, you know, you know, you're you're not a half second. That's not making that decision. Once you made the last half second. That's okay. Now, now let me address what the rabbi asked before. In, I mean, later, you know, I'm going to explain in a minute. There's a, a mini that you make a half sick, and then you put in a mach to it. Put in a cloth, we let it in the whole Benashmoshes. Chabad is quite lucky because they hold by the Goinim and we don't have to keep it in too long. That means you should keep it in only the bare minimum. So uh, I think it's 31 minutes over here. They, no, they, they, they told me to keep it in from before Shki until after Tzitz. Yeah, but what is Tzitz? 35 minutes? When are you down? 35 minutes? Yeah, yeah. 35 minutes. Yeah, correct. So it's 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Correct. Yeah. So that is, that doesn't cause problems. Keeping a cloth inside for 40 minutes, that is. But with the Chassid, about 72 minutes, they start before the Shki, that. I have always problems with the, the, the color, it changes the color of the, of the cloth. So anyways, this, so, it, it, so for let it's someone's going to the Shabbos early, it's 6 30, you make them Shabbos, so your wife made a half sick out before, I always tell them not to put the Mokhtuch in now, because it's going to be two hours in, it irritates it, and it becomes discolored. Mm -hmm. Put it in right before the Shabbos. <laughs> Because a mochtuch is only a mini, it's a nice mini, so that's what it is. It's not a halukh maker I did. So again, so let's go back. So a person, you know, makes it, makes the mochtuch, counts every day, seven, three days. Every day she's supposed to make two badikas. If she's well, the odd woman who the skin is very sensitive, we can't, we can't make it. A woman who's staying a lot. So I don't want to go into all details. You ask your local rabbi. You know, there's ways to, uh, you know, to, uh, not to cause problems. And then Friday night she goes to the makeup. So she has to make the khafifa, the bath at home, and the main see we are so so blessed because you learn the Gemara and the Shekhar, it used to take a whole time to get clean. Today everyone is clean. It's, you know, it's really the people not clean because you know we always use water. You know one thinks about when I first went to Uman, I noticed that the Goyim are busy with rationing water. And the guy explained me because you know we have to schlep it from down the corner. You know there was a well in the corner. It was a fancy well at the bottom. This was a, Oman was a very a fancy place. When I went to visit Bristol itself, yeah. in the corner there was still manual. But this had a, a corner had a. So the Americans came to cover the whole place over that area. But then the point is that you know we are very you know. Very lucky that we have plenty of water. So woman, but the woman has to take a good bath. Yes, the cut her nails and that, and all as I explained, all makeup has to come off and all the the fingernails, the nail polish has to come off and, and you know whatever. And then she go Friday night to the makeup room. And the woman's you know as I explained last week. Sometimes you have guests Friday night. So I told a couple who just called me. She didn't want to go to the makeup room. Because she has guests Friday nights. I said, just disinvite them. He says, Rabbi, what? 
says, I do it to my guests too. I just invited them, nothing happens. You just call up and say, I'm not feeling well. I would love to have you, I'll miss you terribly. Right? You know? <laughs> Something came up and I'm feeling so well. What's so bad? I mean, what's, you know, it's, uh, you know, people are, why are you so afraid? You know, just listen, like a very nice thing. Next week you have a, how do you say in English? There's a rain check. Uh, rain check. Rain check. So next week you have an rain check, come next week. But the, your midst, the obligation is, just go to the You don't push it off because, you know, she was uncomfortable if the couple, mother couples come. But, but generally, if you already have a boy and a girl, then the husband can be mindful, is that what you The say husband could be mindful. Wow. But if you only have two girls, then... Or ten girls. Or ten girls. All right. Or twelve girls. <laughs> Making sure I, I have 12 Yeah, I have a friend. Nice 12 daughters, no boys. You have 12 daughters? I have eight. My other friend has 12. Watch out for sons. I have a friend with 12 boys. Okay, uh, anyway, so th this is, and, and, and this is. What we just discussed is very important, and it's very important. Let me just tell you another very important thing that comes up. In the winter, it's always carpool time, and you have to make exit the house. I get phone calls the whole winter, <laughs> five minutes after the ski, and ten minutes after the ski. Mm -hmm. I tell the woman, if you know you have carpool, make one after middle midday, so you know you made a medica. In case it's better to make it early than one minute after the ski. Especially if you're Chabad. Especially. Um, because the Chabad, the time you held out the Shki is the is yeah. So what are you going to leave it in for? What are you saying? No, no, leave it in. That's no. not, don't leave it in. Don't no, leave it in. Don't leave it in. And I'm saying now, if you know, if you know, your wife knows that there's going to be carpal, and that's mamish when carpal is, so make a medica after midday. Once make a medica, so once it's a, you made a medica. It's a certain thing you have to look up for a period of time. Seven then? Yeah, the model number is only for the Hefsik Tahara. The model number is only the day, let's say Friday will be the Hefsik Tahara. You put in an F right before the Shkiel and in for 35 minutes. So now, but if, if, if it's not a Friday, it's a Thursday and it's carpal time, that's normally what happens. But rather, tell your wife, rather make it in the morning even. If you know, you forget. I have always this question made a minute after the shkia, five minutes after the shkia, ten minutes after the shkia. You know, you know, you have a doctor's appointment. You know, just uh, rather do it early than then later make again. If you did a bit here, it's okay. You made it in the morning. That's better than to make it even a minute after the shkia. Very important to remember this. Thing. There's a better look at the sunlight or uh, it's a matter if you look at the most with sunlight or this light is good. See, one of the things we're so lucky that Sheikh uh, Hanur makes a big fuss that a woman has to wash herself before she makes a hefsek tahara. <coughs> Today, with all the hygiene things, it's, it's, it's a whole different world. You know, I, I, every day when I learn these halachas, I always think to myself, how lucky we are, we don't even realize it. I want, I hope for sure, I, and I'll never have to, we're never gonna have to look back and say, ay, yeah, yeah, we didn't take advantage of what we have. I always, you have to remember that how lucky it is. Hey, Kiddush is going here, right? It's Kishma. You think King Solomon said in such a Kiddush, you know? It's why we have five slaves, you know, going this way, you know, going to Sigurdila. Like, you know what I mean? We didn't have the green tea. You know what I mean? People on the, I asked once the supermarket, the manager, how many cereals they have. She tell me, the next time you come, I'll tell you. We have officially 128 cereals. <laughs> Not always on the shelves. That's why I said we have a problem. You notice how many people standing on the shelf all day? If there be yes. one cereal, no one will be standing there. Now you have 128. Can't decide. What should we buy? <laughs> we are so blessed that we, we, we don't, we, we just know how to catch instead of appreciate what we have. Anyway, so they had a big problem with cleaning themselves. Baruch Hashem, tell you that doesn't exist. Okay, you know, I just want to say briefly about the chitzitzes. You know, and, and let me just say, 
a woman who has a problem making a bedika, she forgot to make a bedika, I don't want to go into the other because you have to ask her Ask your rabbi. Not, not always if you forget a bedika, things go wrong. You have to ask sometimes you make it, sometimes you make it, it has too many details to explain everything. So a woman forgets. One of the great things we have, thanks to his Robertson, is you know the time, not time before. The woman who have sea blood, we don't know if it's a market, not a market. You know, it's so on one of the people who are learning how, uh, how these aloha is getting uh, a ruha, asked me just today that, you know, is there such a thing as roya mach mustashvish? I'm going to explain that there's a, the Gemara, there's a case, but the woman, every time you're intimate, she bleeds. And the Gemara says, you have to get divorced. So he asked me, my experience, I said, it never happens because the first thing you need to go to the doctor. And it is today fixable like nothing. They know how to fix this. Well, very often, a woman after she's into me, she finds blood. What I do is send it to, to the midwife, to his wife, and she checks it and she can see if it's a market or not. And you can tell. Uh, more than once have, you know, the special newlyweds, when you know sometimes this could be a problem. So this is one of the great things we have, which they didn't have a Pamshah, you know. A woman who, uh, when she uses urinate, she has blood. It's all similar to Shekhanah. Today, the doctor puts you on medicine and it right. disappears. In two days, it disappears the infection. So really, we are so, so, so lucky. It's amazing to me how lucky we are. Okay. okay let's talk about bestness. I know the rabbi told me over the town that there's uh, on computer, you can have a West Wing, which they would send me email and remind you for the best. Well, let me explain what a best is. Unfortunately, many people don't keep it, and it's very easy to keep, and it's not so difficult. Especially if you get it on a computer reminder, you know, make sure it's not between all the shtus. I don't even look at my email because once people got hold of my email, it's very good. And I told my daughter to make me an email and not give it out. You know. <laughs> But, but uh, most people are busy, right? Uh, I mean, all the time, you know, looking at email. You know, it's addiction today. You know, Milo Shamanes says, yeah, I pull out his thing, and he's looking. And I look, is he davening or is he... Uh, he has the, the sitter on his phone, like a lot of people have. Uh, he, he, he put it out, put it back in, and do it and say, take some out. <laughs> forgot that paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain. The first best is that if a woman sees a Trevis Kodala, right? Trevis Kodala was finish. So if a woman sees today, so you make 30 days. It's very easy 30 days. 30 days, if the, this month is smaller, so 30 days will be a whole gable. So the next month, the 23rd, you separate from your wife 24 hours of 23rd. We pay the seven Kodish really do 12 hours. So in the bainless, it's, it's 20, you separate that day, the 30th day. And you just tell the people the link, you can have it, text to you, remind you, today is the day, and it's separate. But it says the person keeps vestas, he will have healthy, and the children are to be the chacham, the Rosh Nagamara. You have a child, it will be a mayra And welcome or no? No. What does that mean? What does it mean? I'm speaking from experience. I'm to get paid the salary. So that, right? So this is a 24-hour period. It's the 30th, 30th day, the 30th day. But then is the Yom Achodesh. Yom Achodesh means it's the Chov Dalit. So next month the Chov with the same day, but we only separate if it's so by day. You separate by day. It's called Yom Achodesh. The first one is called Oyne Beinemis. Uh, in English, it's called what? Um, intermediate. 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 That means average. Let me explain to you. Today, you speak to a doctor will tell you in the medical books that an average lady sees in thirty days. Still thirty days. Yeah, thirty days. And they, they still call it. I saw a book, you know, from gynecologist said thirty day period. You know, so it, 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 the body works in the thirty days. You know why? The Zoe says a fascinating thing because the woman, the woman's body works like the moon. Exactly, you know that. That it takes half the month 
to develop the uterus, and then afterwards, if nothing happens, the body spits out and takes 15 days. When the she's clean. So it's the 30th day of her cycle? The 30th day of her cycle. I mean, mean say, she's so nothing, nothing to do with the, month, the 30th day of the month. Right. The day. And after 30 days of the cycle, it's she saw today, we count 30 days. It happens to be this Chodesh is two, the, has two, two, two days of the Chodesh. Unusual. Uh, unusual this year. So, if you, <coughs> so my mate, in, the, in the 30th day would happen to be Chodesh. I've never heard of one more time. It's called Oyder Bainimus. How does one spell it? Oyder Bainimus. Why don't you write in English? Oyder What do you say? In Thai, how do you say? In some reading? Yeah. So that's the 24 hours that you that doubt that Piyoy Bachoyimdish, generally speaking, every second month will be the same day. Because Yoy Bachoyimdish is always, the, if every second month is the 30th day. This month, it's going to be uh, the well, this month will be the same month. Second, this month will be a date afterwards. How are they going to be the same day if everyone will be the same month? Because the you know, Oynabeinimus is every second month it will be the same day we have a Chodesh and Oynabeinimus. But if a woman has 27, then no, that's, that's a different, no, we'll get, that's a different count. We're, we're beginning but we're focusing on 30 days and it's the same day of the Jewish calendar. The, the, the Shalma says, that's very interesting. The Shaman says a woman's body works with the with the uh, with the lunar count. But not anymore. It used to be. It used to be. Now, now nothing works. <laughs> not even the moon. <laughs> <laughs> what if what if her cycle is less than thirty days? Yeah, that's always. What it well, the Shulchan Aruch is Machman. That must be. The Rav is Machman. Then you might be. Uh, you know, all the time we're making, but the Rav is the one who's Machman. Says you have to keep thirty days, even though she always has less. You would be able to talk about it's less. Yeah, because it, it obviously didn't maybe, come. So maybe now it's going to come. Now it's going to come, she right? Be, she always sees less than 30 years. So if, if now all of a sudden, you expect, if it didn't come, you know, it's, she always sees 25, 26. So, but others are making what they're out, it's not them. So her cycle slips enough that she could be in need of that. Right, that's any wish to That's, that's. But let me, so this, there's the 30th day, which is counting 30 days. Then there's the day of the Jewish calendar. The day of the Jewish calendar, today was Chovdalad, so she would write down in the calendar the 20 Chovdalad next month. Because the Rishama said, the Rishama asked the question, it's up to Besdin to change the calendar. You know that Besdin could make one day in the sun. The Rishama says, a woman's body is connected to the moon. I, I, I was going to say a joke, but I'm not on camera. <laughs> no, it's not so important. But anyways, uh, so <laughs> it's funny. So uh, let me get back. So that's the the chovda and the yom chodesh. Then there is how much is the intervals? How much it takes from one to the other? And Chabad holds that it has to do when you make the hepsik tahara. That means you count the clean days. Let's say the last month you, she was clean so many so many days. So the next one after the period, you count so many, so many clean days, and you expect that end of the clean days should be. That's a chabad. Others disagree. Other will holds that you count. It's almost it's some. It's most of the times the same thing. But let, let me just focus, not to get confused. So let's say she made a half sick tahara today, a Friday. Let's say it works Friday. She makes after tahara. So now you count Shabbos as the first clean day, and you count how many clean days she got till the next period. So the next time she makes after tahara, you write down. How many days you expect the period to come? We, we count and you and a half to, days for that. We count plainness for that. Well, it's, well, it's the same thing. It's I know, just give me a day and a half. So. Yeah, it's going to be a day and a half, but it's almost the same thing. And there's a website. I said over here. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's Vesos.com. No, no, no. MindMakerCalendar.com. And he, you know, I, he said that Rabbi says it, it comes automatically to you. To the husband and to the wife, they send a text at 24 hours before notification that tomorrow night there's a lineup. It, it, which is great. The Vestos has, has, a, has a software also that yeah, they have yeah. So, so the bottom can find it in this is the Yoyin of Fish and we also count the days. Yeah, well, it's like that. It's two each. Do any other things you do want to buy a belt there? No. No. You go from the beginning to the beginning. Well, then no, it doesn't make a difference because you're going to have a It's a big difference. I don't want to get into it. I don't want you guys to confuse it. It does make a difference. It does make a difference. The counter makes a difference. It does make a difference, but uh, I won't get into it. It's, uh, I think it's very confusing. 
I don't want to. Uh, no, I wanted someone just said through the comment, you should know when, before you get married, you think, oh wait, what is this? Bird in another few days. Once you marry, you know, it's you, know, you can't always have any day in this practice. It's not so impractical. It's not so and there's another question. On the days of the best, you're only allowed not allowed to be intimate. But the Iker Aloko Ilar Habukis. So the Hamachme, not to have a kiss, is to be a But the Ikra Aloka, not to just have a kiss. But if you do that, the Gulashokhara says, if you want a blessing, don't hug and kiss, because hugging and kissing will lead to the next step. step. But I, I always try to tell halacha. Halacha is yelato. And the Rav adds the famous thing the Shulchan Aruch Rav adds, that you shouldn't sleep in one bed. Because sleeping in one bed is like hugging. If you don't hug and kiss, don't sleep in one bed. But that's a chumrah. You know, I, I can't tell people. Do you still have to keep, keep the best when when when? During a time when she's pregnant, for example, when she's not getting no. married? Once yeah. you, none of the women have a rescue rule. So once it passes, it's gone. Once it passes, but if she gets pregnant, uh, they're they're most it. often they're most of the pregnancy. Most of no one knows. Yeah. No one will run straight if, 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 if a woman is irregular yeah. and she has a best of level for hundred days and yeah. she knows she's pregnant, she has to keep it. Yeah. Well, it's Wait, but, yeah, but if a woman doesn't make a badik on the way of bayonets, but she forgets to make a medica and she takes a bath, then she cannot be with her husband. I'm saying this is, this is a common decad in a That's how it passes? 100%. That's by the way, that's the way 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 the I'm saying that we're very humble and annoying. So the the same thing, I don't know. No, it's not the same thing. Shadow is not the same thing. Shadow is not the same thing. It's about being a little bit more. How you look around. Yeah, and you should be a little bit consulted with the rabbi. One of the also very, very, very important things in the Chabad is the woman, I tell Chabad people, just pray a little bit for me. Get used to your wife when she used the facility to keep the lights off. Because according to the Shulchan Karam, uh, not everyone agrees, but he, Rabbi, what's his name? Farkash. Farkash claims that the Alter Rebbe in the Badura Basa changed his mind. I am not convinced, and I heard that the other Chabad are most not convinced what he writes. I asked this once another Chabad wrote. But he claims that the Shulchan Karam in the Basa changed his opinion. So according to that, if a woman wipes herself, she be, could, could become an Indian. So the, and that depends on what she sees. You have to ask her, look, Rabbi, so I don't, I tell this to a woman. Get into the habit, there is no, get into the habit to use the bathroom, the lights are off. Rabbi, has, has somebody given you Rabbi Farkash and Safer? Or you yeah, I went to the Safer. Uh -huh. I even argued with him when he was here. He married off his son here, right? Yes, I was married to Rosh I argued one thing, he told me he's going to write me back. But yeah, that was a whole Kiddush, another Kiddush about the best. Is, you know, all the other Anyways, so, about the best is what else did I want to say? You, you mentioned before Chatzitza, then you went to the rest. Chatzitza is very good. Today is not so difficult. Baruch Hashem, most Chatzitza is, you know, ahead of time. It's just, you know, stitches you have to ask, Shalom, races. A woman okay. gets sunburned and her skin begins to peel. You have to ask, you have to, the, the only one who can help you is the mikvah lady. It's very hard, they know exactly what to do. You could go to the mikvah, even though it's peeling, it happens often in the summer, but be trained, the mikvah lady, you know what it does. You know, just, you would just cut off the skin, yes, that which is, which is, the, the, the doctor says you can cut off, the doctor says not to peel the skin. So we just cut off just the skin that we're allowed to be cut off. The rest is not conceited since it's attached to the body. What if a woman uh, is pregnant, to, the doctors say that they shouldn't take lengthy baths? So in no those circumstances. No, I have, I have one that way. Well, a pregnant doctor does not want she has to go to make it. Just take a, what's his name? Sure. A shower. And that's pretty evidence good when she goes to make it. I have that more than once. And the eighth day, a woman is never allowed to go, only Bishas and Chak, and you have to ask the rabbi. I'll tell you what happened once, as I maybe I said last week, there was a lady who broke a leg, and nine months she had to have a cast. 
a young lady. This was just uh, terrible. And uh, one time I had another little lady. My neighborhood is stopped going skiing. There used to be a time 15 years ago when all the young people used to go skiing. And a lady broke her ankle and was doing a on. And, uh, and she had to wear braces and it was terrible. It was very hard to go. So the doctor, this lady, the doctor had to take off the cast. And I took off the cast and she had to go to the liquid by day and go straight back to the doctor to put on the fresh cast. That's the only time that you make home. On the other times, the woman, I don't want to go to all the shadows. I don't want people to learn from the coolest, but if you have a problem, ask it over rabbi. There's apparently there's also a shot that can prevent. It's like a it's like a birth control shot that that the woman won't get her period for three four months. Mm-hmm. In that point, do you do you do you miss out on your your? your they have one where she has in this That's a huge machlokes, and most places can not happen. Most players should say that, or even though a woman's taking the shot, this is the last one, it's a shot, shot, a three-month shot, that she doesn't get the period. Most players say that she should be punished in the main and it's for sure. Even though you're for sure, only one, only one, only one. one. So, oh, they're talking about something else. That would work in that case, I'm saying. If the woman has a cast for nine months, that's the best solution, rather than taking it off and going Not every moment you get the thing. You know, this is a woman who suffers mood swings, cannot take it. It's not so, not everyone. You have to be very healthy for that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so, it it. so, that first month you have to hold by the yeah, minutes, the second month it's, yeah, it's gone and you start. And I, since you bring it up, you know, birth control is method, but you have to ask a mother about control. And yeah, what is sh- the car, right? yeah, And what surely is not good is a condom. There is no hat in the world to use a condom. And, uh, and and a diaphragm is the Tzemach Tzedek is an incredible cooler, which Moshe Feinstein quotes in the Shichuva, which he held that it could be makeup, but again, I, it's, I will go off topic. And, uh, there's times where a woman can use a condom, but when a woman uses birth control, there's ways to do it. You should ask her out, but today we are blessed again. If you get the shots, the woman take the pills, and there are other ways to do it, which is... Uh, you know, I love them good when they complain, but it's not so convenient. Be happy out of birth control. Years ago, you didn't have that, you know, you know. But uh, there is ways, and like you have to ask her up. I mean, uh, this is not so simple. Yeah. So does the condom count as, as relations? Like, <laughs> okay. it, it could be called relations if she agrees, but it's much zero of a total. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's like what a coin, a coin to marry a woman. No, no way. The the, the, there is no way. They, they tried to school already, everyone. There is no way. One second. Are you saying if someone uses a condom, does that mean that it wasn't Bia? It, 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 it was a zero of a total. It doesn't mean it's a Bia. It's a Bia, but it's a zero of a total. It means a lady, unfortunately, she was Mazama, and the guy wore a condom, she becomes also a husband. Unfortunately, I had to deal with someone this way. She had an affair, and uh, she they used a condom. But Lamaisa, she does become a Sulabala. But it's still goes out. Yeah, it still goes out. We're talking about that. If a woman tells her husband that she had an affair, I'll be there because you have to believe her. Not Not Nemo. Not Nemo. Not Nemo whatsoever. But this was, uh, was, there was uh, circumstantial evidence, great circumstantial evidence. That's what he believed. Well, the Mukabuddha says that Isha Sha'amra Tameani ain't an ananas. We don't trust her, no matter who she is. Because she wants out of the marriage. And let me tell you how she ended in her madness. I have to explain this to a rabbi once. Uh, uh, the the, the, the a lady was dying. What? She was dying. And on her deathbed, she asked her husband to forgive her because she was Mazama once. She had an affair. She didn't die. No. Oh. She didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> And people saw that she was in bed, it was like, she was a goises. <laughs> and you know, she tells her husband, please, we say, I'm Michael, you, and she didn't die. They was so, Michael's the, the, so the Rav said, the time of the say, I mean, I mean, come on. So the Nebida said, I, I don't know if you know what the Nebida is, the Nebida was a very good ladder. Even the Vashem to have said, yeah, yeah, he's frightened of the Nebida's title. The third of the world stands in Swiss and Nebida, he said. So Nadi Bidi said, Chazal said, she's not Naaman, she's not Naaman. 
maybe she faked that she comes from Hollywood that she did a good job. <laughs> I said, you know, if you don't trust her, woman ought to act or act. So the woman that says to me, honey, is not man whatsoever. I had a therapist more than once tell me. She got, he fired me that she had an affair. So I said, so what? I know she says the truth. And then if a therapist tells me she only shows that you're not a therapist. So people know how to lie. It's really schmack. I said, you know, like. Uh, but this is not only a woman. A man ain't other boys said this out. No, 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 she's special. Special on all. Yes. So going back to the, the, the average cycle, so for example, you're saying in terms of the shot of the woman goes on, on birth control, but like for an extended period of time, more than a month, 30, more than a month, so two, three months, that cycle then is going to carry on. It's going to be like, for example, 90 days between, or 90 hours between the clean cycle. Does it just carry through like regular? I understand. That means so you, you count the 90 day cycle. You yeah, it's one you count. Cycle, you carry Is cycle. there a limit before you 90 days is the limit. Oh, 90, so if it's after that? Yes. 90. The mother says 90 days is the number. But what, what is the case after that? Then you're going to worry about it. So if you're married, you start all over. That's another thing. thing. We don't count anything if we don't count. If it's more than 90 days, you only count the last uh, on 30 days. And we count it. <laughs> I just want to say if, uh, uh, you know, after birth, you know, a woman, you know, a woman, a woman after birth, I, you know, there are people, I don't know where to take it. I heard this from different people. A woman don't go to make three months. A woman, after birth, as soon as she gets clean and the doctor says it's okay, she could go to the make She has to count shepherd seven clean days. One of the questions I have the opposite, sometimes the doctor says, don't be intimate till I check you to make sure everything is healed. So people ask me, but you know, I couldn't get an early doctor's appointment, but can I go to make You have to go to make because even, uh, you know, so often just the fact that you can hug a kiss is also good enough. So we, even that is a mitzvah spina. You know, even though you cannot be intimate, the fact that she's clean, that's also a mitzvah. Just gotta make sure you don't spill your seat. That's a very important thing. But, you know, you have to know yourself. But there's a count there's very clear that uh, that's also a mitzvah. So can you count before she goes to the doctor? Yes, yeah, so she, she kissed me and she's clean. That's what Darby told us. So I just said. Come beforehand and, and go to the make for the doctor and then go to make the room. That's right. what happens. But I have been asked by often young couples who don't want to wait. You know, the doctor's appointment is next week or a few days later. Or the show, but she could go to make it, not be intimate until she the doctor checks it. I Often they ask me, do you think I should be intimate? I said, I think you should listen to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> if your doctor tells you you keep it, don't fast, you listen to him, just be patient. If a woman gets divorced, does she continue counting? Oh, why not? I mean, say, so let's say she gets divorced and a month later she gets remarried. She's, she's not allowed to marry a month later. Okay. Three, three months, mm -hmm. 90 days, 90 days. I mean, does, does it, is it with each husband is what I'm asking? Yeah, that's just, it's a girl, better ask. If a girl is dating, she should stop keeping a month. It's like, you know, she has to know when to, to she start wedding. Sorry. I have a lot of, no, he's talking about, you know, to know when the date is. Engaged, no, it's a wedding. Yeah, that's what he's asking. Dating, like, you're really big, Is it dating? Yeah, I'm hearing, you know, in my line, I have to be careful what you say. Yeah, that's what he's asking. So, even, I have a bunch of daughters. I always tell them to count the exact because we have to plan a wedding day. It's very hard. Certain, certain women have a very... So she has to, uh, 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 an unmarried woman has to count laws? Doesn't have to count. That's a good idea. You don't have to. Most girls don't, don't know. No, I'm saying in, in terms of the, in terms yes. of the fine of yes. and yes. 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 Most yes. girls, but before they get married, for some reason, don't know what's fine. They don't count. For some reason. I, I don't know why, but it should. Because they go on birth control before they get married. It takes yeah. three, four months, and it, and it, and it straightens them out. Yeah. That's what they do. Any other questions? No, because anyhow, they're becoming a, a after they get married. No, 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 no. The woman should be able to be able to count the vestas before. You understand? It's asking a practical question. Why does a girl I have better? Let me just tell you in a better case. I have a a a, a, a couple, not so newly wed, and she had a calendar, she lost the calendar. Okay. She just couldn't find the you know the the calendar one of the children when she has one to young children. Okay, what you know, what I said, you know, Try it if she couldn't remember exactly. I said, make a medica, you know, because if it's after 30 days, so you have to make a medica. Just make a medica and come in to make a medica.
before every time. Yeah. So I mean, she made a judgment that by this time, for sure, it's past the 30 days. Because for 30 days, you must make a medita. You know, keeping Hilchah's name, I want to say, really enhances your marriage. It's true. This is a fact. This is a, and I even though I am going to be quoted here, I, you know, people listen to Rabbi for this. Yeah, but, you know, I'm, I, I went to the emergency room, the lady says, I saw you on the, the other well, this, it's only that one lady. She recognized me. I have no idea who she was. So, anyway, so, uh, um, you know, um, what did she say? What did she say? Talk about keeping up with me Yeah, so, um, yeah, I, 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 someone who came from, it's put it to me, very, very good. He, he's, you know, he's been living with a girlfriend, he got thrown together, he said it to me in a, such a practical way. He says, you know, I was secular, and we have a date night, and it was a nervous wreck, we used to go twice, once in two weeks, and it was a, just a nerve-wracking thing, you have a rich restaurant, and you go, and you tip the waiter, and tip this, and uh, I, I did it because you had to do it. It says that I, when we came from, this is the most amazing thing. The Mick and I is a built-in date night. And you don't have to go any place. It is much more, it's, he said it enhanced his wedding, marriage. He was living with his girlfriend a long time. They were married uh, uh, for the justice of peace, now they got full married. It just changed their whole life. And the Torah really, you keep the list of the Torah very often. It's incredible how it helps a person. Because Shalom Bayes, we all know, is not so easy. You know, it doesn't go always easy. There are many things that help us, make the Shalom Bayes work nicely. And the Helkas Nid is known to do that. Any other questions to Helkas Nid then? If, you're, if, you're, if a person's in a dating relationship with a, with a woman and they're, they've been living together for many years, does she have to... The, they don't plan on getting married, but they've been living together for five, six years. Do they have to hold by this? Of course. I want to tell you frightening stories. I, I've heard a lot of their one say that, that uh, unmarried women should go to the mikvah. Okay. If you're living together, you get one meeting with your girl. If you're living in sin. sin. You're living in sin, but that's a less of the, that's high chorus of the Sumi and Esa. I want to tell you an interesting story. I, I sometimes get modest for a moment, you know, the male, and I call up. I get an invitation. I have no idea who this is. Then she calls me up. A lady calls me. I'm Rabbi. You coming to the wedding? She says, Who are you? I send you to her. She says, oh, I don't know you. You don't know me. I've been sending you bedikas for the last two years. I said, What? <laughs> Rabbi, I have needs. <laughs> I, became, I became religious. And we were living. We kept Shabbos. I, she was sending me bedikas. I had no idea who she was. I didn't go to the wedding. Yeah, but, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never heard before. <laughs> but, uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, she, I, I, I afterwards, she once came to me, she met me, she was a modern orthodox lady, and, uh, you know, she grew up, this wasn't the worst thing, unfortunately, but, you know, why I'm saying this, that, you know, unfortunately, there are people who have this uh, mentality. You're, not, you're never allowed to encourage people to live with the lady without a chibi kedusha. You know, then Esa, it's, a, it's surely the man who holds the most of the So is that what that will do? It, it, but it's only an Esa, not going to make this chayv chorus. Hmm. So you know, we never t- we we have a policy. If someone comes to make, we never ask. Even if make a lady suspects that uh, you know that this is uh, they're not married, we don't ask. We're not going to say that uh, you know. But, uh, but of course, you should encourage people to get married, you know, you know, you can bump with such people, rather encourage them to get married than to live, with, because living with a lady, they're going to make this high chorus. If she goes to make food, then it's not chorus, it's just an estimate of time. I heard Rob once say that it's better that some fried people don't have, don't have a proper condition, so that way when, when they get divorced, yeah, I believe that. so then in that case, you're, you're not encouraging them to get married, but you're encouraging them to keep house as well. Yeah, I'm saying that they're getting full, let's say they are getting yeah, full, so and, and they want to get through. <laughs> I've, I've met couples who were slowly getting from and you know, and, uh, and the question was, when should you go to make them? And I told them, why didn't you go right away to the make So, you know, you're not going to, it's very hard to tell them to separate now, nothing. You know, unless there's problems, I love other lovers, but you just, you know. Do you have to be intimate to make them? Yes, it's a real 
unless she's moichel, or you, it, it, it's two things. If you're kind of mitzvah, you have a boy and a girl, and she's moichel. And you're moichel. Now, uh, 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 you might do this, uh, you don't want to do it. I want to take something. It all depends on the wife. The odd woman, for very strong-minded, and will tell the husband, no, I don't, I want it. Most women, are most, I, I have a kind of bunch of daughters, I know some of my daughters, which just say, I have a very strong mind, we say, no. But most women, you ask, do you mind? Of course, I don't know. they take it very personally, you know, I don't want to be this way. So it's very hard to know, especially young women, I, I don't see the mind so, uh, I say so, uh, free. You know, freely and express themselves, the wants, and so it's very, when a wife is my own, you don't know, you know, you know woman, you marry, how long are you marry? Yeah. You know, woman not always think what they say and say what they think, you know, that really. So, you know, I have a house full of boys, I know, when they say one thing, it can mean another thing, you talk about it's another thing. So when she says she's my own, she really means, I want you to go after me. <laughs> so we can't trust that much of the Practically, if she says she's Michael or for whatever reason, you know, if you know, if you what do you, she's not feeling well. So what do you do if, if they're, they're not? Well, she, they, you you might have to like, like to take a hint, right? Yeah. You know, but you know, she's not feeling well. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, uh, often it's just you know. Sometimes she's you know. You have to know. You have to know. What it is. It's the best is to make it a rule. We are together. Like it's once a week, you should always be together at least. You know, what I say so? You know, Chazal made this, you know, people uncomfortable with sex, but the Chazal encouraged it. You know, the Gemara is one of the great things of being in the Torah is the Torah talks about it, encourages, the Gemara says how important it is, and how much great shall abides. The Gemara the talks very explicitly how important it is. It's not a hidden subject, and it's not like. Uh, Says, Zocha ish the isha, Shkena benay. It means Shkena is because ish has a yud and isha has a hey. So the yud k is the Shkena, what it always represents. Loi Zocha, the Nad Zocha, Eish of Mosoi, fire consumes them. What is, which, what is the fire that consumes them? The Rambam says, you know what the fire is? The Yetzahara of sex. If it's not curtailed and controlled in the Torah setting, that is no yizuche, it literally would consume a person. Sex is, drives people nuts. We have a Torah that says when you're together, how you're together, you're not supposed to be in front of a light, you're not supposed to be together by day. The Torah, all of them, and she's a nidra, and she's this. That keeps our Yitzhak in check, so to say. If you really do it the right way, then the Shechina is each half. You know, like the husband and wife, the shechin is the shayla. You know, the, it's not just a saying, it's mamish and the shayla in the house. Okay, next week, what do you want to know? Maybe we're going to back up the shabbos. Shabbos? Come on, you don't want to do it there. You can do it there. Whatever you want.